Danny, you and Jordan, um, you knew each other before the group, though, right? That's what he was saying, yeah? Well, the four of us, me, Donnie, Jordan, and John, all went to elementary school together. Like, no since we were, way. like, this yeah. big, we, mm -hmm. yeah, we knew each other since, I didn't since kindergarten, know that. basically. Oh, yeah. Do you know how many people still have friends from that age? No one. That's crazy. <laughs> we do. Uh, and yeah. we were. We were friends. Danny and I used to sit together on the school bus. John was best friends wow. with my brother Bob, and then him and I became friends in the sixth grade. Jordan was singing in all the plays, and we knew him. And anyway, go back to your story. That's amazing <laughs> to, have, to have that kind of connection at such a young age, and then even through like your whole life. No, not many people have that. No, it's a blessing, and it makes it easy to work together because we yeah. know each other so well, and it's beyond even what brothers are. Um, yeah. I got a lot of love for these guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. You You're definitely able to call them out on their when you know them that long. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, these next ladies were friends before they were making music together as well. They were the first all-female rap group to go platinum. I'm super stoked they're here. Give it up for Salt and Pepper! I was telling them in the break, I was like, I'm a, such a hugger. And it's such know, a weird thing because you, yeah. you lose a lot of the like yeah. beginning part of a conversation mm -hmm. when you're like, like hey. this. <laughs> yeah, you're like, it's you got a most... fist bump or elbow bump. Hi, yeah. guys. Hi. Um, okay, so wait, how did you two start working together? Because you've known each other. You were friends first, right? Yes. Yeah, we, we yeah. went to school together. We were in. Um, uh, what is it, Queensboro Co College? College. Don't, I'm leaving out the community. That's she right. doesn't like when I say that. She's like, why do you have to say that? <laughs> <What's> that? <laughs> it, was, it was college. <laughs> because get your basics out of the way. Right, it's right. cheaper. <laughs> then go the other way. Everybody frowns upon that. So we went smart. to college together. <laughs> and we also worked at Sears as telephone oh solicitors together. I got her a job. They yes, were hiring. She was like, I want to work at Sears. I said, they'll hire anybody. And so, <laughs> <laughs> they hired Pep. Yes. <laughs> and the funny thing about Sears is Martin Lawrence worked there, Kid, Kid and Play, Play, Salt and Peppa, and Herbie Lovebug, our mm. producer. And That's everyone went on to do what they set out to do. Yes. Something in the water at Sears. Sears Thanks, Sears. Yes, Sears. Like the training ground. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. So uh, did you always know each other? You always knew that you wanted to be Salt and Peppa, like you always wanted to do a group? No, well, we was just in, uh, at a college and says playing cards in the lunchroom. Hanging out. <laughs> Hanging out yeah, and everything. Yeah. But then, I, you know, Herbie, our producer, you know, he was going to a music school at the time. So he wanted to put the group together. Mm -hmm. And so I auditioned. <laughs> And got it, no. Mm -hmm. and it's I'm like, great. why are you laughing? It's worked out. Yeah. <laughs> it's, the thing about salt and pepper is like, we're opposite, but we're also very much yeah. alike, which is weird. Yeah. And you know how opposites attract. That's I always friendship. say the chemistry between us is, she pulls me to the edge and I keep her from going over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, we just teeter her right there. I was there, like, you know? come to the edge a little, live a little bit more. <laughs> Have fun, Have Have calm fun. down. <laughs> right, right, right. One of my inspirations, um, well, actually all of these people are my musical inspirations, so I'm having a good Good day, people. Um, but one of the, this next group, though, um, another iconic act um, on the mixtape tour 2022. Um, they're one of my favorite v female vocal groups. I think everybody loves them. Um, they're one of the best groups in the history of people making music on this planet. In Vogue, y'all! Yeah. <laughs> Y'all better walk. So, I mean, you guys, I mean, first of all, welcome. I'm so excited that you're here. <laughs> and I was saying earlier, like, all of you are like musical inspirations for me. Like, I, and still, I still listen, like, literally, my Spotify playlist is all 90s music. So, um, because it's the best. Um, but um, <laughs> have you had a chance, though, like, to people that you were inspired by? Like, have you had a chance to, like, meet with or sing with, like, people that really, like, inspired you to be who you are? Absolutely. Who, who are those so people? So many people. For you? Early, and when we first got in the game, Gladys Knight. Oh, God. Uh, Patti LaBelle. Wow. Jocko Khan. Yeah. Okay, so you just, all like, the, dropped all, all the, the real divas. Yeah. The real divas. Yeah. Like, wow. Divas. 
Oh my God, Shaka, oh. So, okay, so Cindy, you, you learned that you could harmonize in a really unique way when you were a kid, right? I did, I was six years old. It was to the Bugs Bunny theme with my dad. I didn't know what harmonizing was, but he, he said, you sing this part, I'm gonna sing this part. And, and that was harmonizing. I was like, ah. That's amazing yeah. that you kept it, because usually kids even, they'll stray to whatever the other person's singing. That's amazing. I just, my dad was a singer and it was just music in the household all the time, Maybe, my yeah. sister, so I just, it just clicked. Wow, that's beautiful. Um, and Joey, you were very young whenever you started. So th how, this is a real question, because yeah. I grew up singing with guys. Yeah. Does your voice change then while you're in the group? <laughs> oh, it changed like, uh, hmm, yeah. Um, I got, actually my voice changed right at, our first single was Please Don't Go Girl, yeah. and I my voice hadn't changed. So just as it was coming out, as we were doing all the promo for that song, I could still sing the song. And then right when Right Stuff came along, it was a rap. My voice has oh, changed. No. So, so it's like God was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save it just enough <laughs> to get the single out, and then we're going to change. That's what I always feel yeah. bad for, because guys, I grew up with a lot of guys singing, and yeah. I was like, oh, my God. And then all of a sudden, your voice just changes. Yeah. You're like, Great reason for being in a band, too, because you got yeah. other guys that can get your back. Uh, uh, yeah. I went about this the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, um, Terry, so what, what about a memorable, like, early gig for you? A memorable early gig. There's got to be a lot. You, there was this one moment, and it was just so pivotal for us, when we performed with Stevie Wonder. What? Oh, my God, all the names you're dropping. <laughs> we recorded um, a song with him called What the Fuss. And um, we were in the studio, and when we... It, it wasn't our first time meeting him, but what was so crazy was when we got there, he called us each of us out by name. Mm -hmm. And we were looking at each other like, how in the world? Mm -hmm. Oh, because he can't... See. Oh, right. We were like, wait, can he see? <laughs> <laughs> <He's lying." laughs> and and <laughs> then we did this other gig, and he was there. Huh? And why did he... We, we you know, we, had, we were interacting with each other, and why did he call out our birthdays? What? Years later. Okay, he was the guy on top of your bus. Like, <laughs> 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 He was like, Terry, I was like, I was so taken aback. I was like, oh my God, like, Stevie, come on, can you see? <laughs> oh my God, are you lying to me right now? I promise. It's, you know what's funny though, it's like, no, not you, him. Like, oh, are you lying? Yeah. Yeah. You're <laughs> like, I promise, I'm not lying. Um, so, uh, what, what about y'all? What are some, like, a memorable moment that you love from your career? Ooh, there's so many. The Grammys. The Grammys. The Grammy. The yeah. Grammys, one of them, because we, when we petitioned it, because they weren't doing, you know, showing um, when you won a, a award or, you know, the Grammys at the time, hip hop, they weren't, you know, showing it on television. Oh, they, they were just announced, they wouldn't air it. Oh. And we, so we like petitioned it and everything. And then Will when, Smith with Will and Smith, a bunch of other yeah. yeah. And then we went on to win one and it was televised. So it was like, oh my gosh, it was a big moment for us, for yeah. women in hip hop, uh, you yeah. know. Yeah. I know people that have won Grammys and they're like, it wasn't televised. And it was right. like maybe their first time to do it. And it's like, oh man, what a yeah. bummer. Like, cause yeah. you as a kid or like you have that moment mm -hmm. you think of that's yes. gonna happen, you know? Yes. I'm so glad you got that. That's amazing. Yes. And you were like, we deserve this. And we, then it happened. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs>